Alright guys, so it is finally time to go through all of my eyeshadow palettes. I will show you everything that I have. I will try to declutter some. I can't promise that I'll do a very good job because eyeshadow palettes are my true love. I love most of the things I have in my collection, so I don't expect to get rid of a lot, but let's just dive into it. So before we get started, no, I will not send you any free makeup. No eyeshadow palettes will be coming your way, so if that's why you're here, might as well just click out and leave right now. So let's get into this declutter. Okay, so I thought the best idea would be to just start with my big palette, so I'm gonna start with my Jeffree Star Alien palette. I love this palette. This is not going anywhere. I had so much fun making a lot of videos with this. I will link some of my favorite videos uh, in the cards if you want to check them out. I will also link some down in the description box. Next up, this is one of the newest palettes to my collection, and this is the Blue Blood palette, also by Jeffree Star. These are the two Jeffree Star palettes that I own, I don't have any other ones, so I've gotten a lot of requests to do videos with the Blood Sugar palette, but honestly, I just don't have that one because that one is a bit too neutral for me. So these are the two that I have, and I have made plenty of videos with these, and I will link those down in the description box for you. Next up, we have a palette by Carity. This is their All Matte palette. I have not used this enough. I really feel like I should give this more love. I liked it when I did use it, so I'm not going to declutter it by any means. I think the color story in this is really pretty. The shadow right here is just so unique to my collection. I feel like I don't have a lot of shades like this, so I will for sure be keeping this palette, and I do think it's pretty good quality. Da, da, da. It is time for the Cat on the Fetish palette. I have no shame. I like the palette, so I bought it, and that's pretty much the end of that. So I haven't used it a whole ton, but the few times that I have used it, I did really like it, so it will be staying in my collection. This one is the Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics. I really like this palette. I think this is a great quality, affordable palette. If you've been thinking about picking this up, I would highly recommend it. I feel like I've gotten quite a bit of use out of this and I am not going to get rid of this at all. So, so far we're not doing great with the decluttering part because I haven't decluttered anything. So I do think, however, that I'll probably get rid of some of the ones that are coming up here. So this is the Morphe 35B palette. This is now discontinued, so I do think that I'm probably going to hand this off to someone else because I really don't want to feature this on my channel anymore since it's discontinued. It is a beautiful palette though. I did have some problems with some of the blues and the greens in this. They're not the best and I definitely have better like rainbow colors in my collection, so I don't feel too bad about decluttering this. So I am going to get rid of this. I know a lot of people are probably like, no, you gotta keep that because, you know, it's a great palette, but I feel like someone else might be getting better use out of this than me. Next up, I have what is probably a dupe for the 35B palette, but this is an all matte palette, and I actually got this at a flea market, so I'm not really sure if I want to keep this or not. I feel like it could make for a pretty good palette bingo, but I'm also not going to keep a palette just for the sake of making one video with it, so I think I am going to declutter this one as well. It's just too big. I've realized for myself that I'm just not the biggest fan of really big palettes, so I feel like most of the big palettes that I have that are, you know, like rainbow-ish, kind of like this, I probably will not be keeping. And so I think I am going to declutter this despite... Ugh, that is so hard actually to declutter because I do really like this. But realistically, am I really going to reach for it? And I think the answer is no. And it's also an all matte palette, which I don't really ever use all matte palettes that often, especially being on YouTube and the fact that I film pretty much every time I do my makeup, this just doesn't really fit into that. So I think I am going to get rid of this. This is also not really the kind of palette that I feel like I can pull out to do like swatch comparisons and stuff because I don't know if this is even available to buy anymore. So I will be parting with this, unfortunately, even though it's a really pretty palette. But like I said before, I think someone else will be getting more use out of this than me. So we are done with the very big palettes. Now we're moving into more of the normal size palettes. And so I will be moving this box out of the way. I thought I would just show you like the next box that we are starting on. So I think I will pull out all of my small palettes and we can go through those. Okay, so these are all like my mini mini palettes, like the really small palettes that I own. So we're just gonna start on top here and this is my Blush Tribe Just Blended Quad. I think this is beautiful. This is such a cute little eyeshadow palette and I love to bring this traveling because I can just add a little pop of color into whatever else that I am using that doesn't have any like super bright color. So I always bring this with me when I travel and I think the quality of this is fantastic. So I am going to keep this. 
And so let's just do the elephant in the room here. This is the Catlin D uh, Alchemist palette. I'm also going to keep this because I think this is such a cute palette and it just adds like a really nice inner corner highlight. If you want that, you could also use it on your face as highlighters. I'm sorry if I'm not swatching a lot of these because it's just going to take forever. I have so many things to get through and I don't want to be sitting here for an hour swatching eyeshadow palettes. So we're just going to kind of try to get through this, you know, as fast as I'm able to. This is something that I received from Octoly. This is by Paul and Joe, and it's just a very, very small, cute little box that has four eyeshadows in it, or three eyeshadows in it. And I've tried this, and I honestly just, this is not really my kind of eyeshadow formula. I get what they were trying to do with this. This is more of a kind of sheer wash of color, and that is not my thing. So despite this packaging just being super cute and girly, and I love the whole idea of this, I think I am going to pass this along because I just don't see myself ever using it for anything other than just looking at because it's pretty and that is just not a good enough reason to keep something so I am going to pass this on to someone else. This one right here is from LA Colors and I got this at a flea market and I am not used it and it's been probably five months now, four months maybe, so I'm gonna get rid of this because I never find myself using all matte palettes, especially not now that I do film pretty much every time I do my makeup. It's just kind of hard to reach for because I feel like I'm constantly reviewing stuff and trying out new things, so this just doesn't really have a place in my collection anymore. I could see myself maybe, maybe traveling with this, but to be honest, I haven't even used it, so... I don't think I should really keep this. Plus it was really cheap too, so I'm going to declutter this. Okay, so moving on, this is a quad that I have from Wet n Wild. I do not like this at all. I don't find this formula to be very easy to work with. I find it to be very powdery and just hard to blend out and the shimmers aren't really even that shimmery, so I'm gonna have a very easy time getting rid of this because I just don't think this is a very good product. So this is a Viseart Petite Pro eyeshadow palette. I actually got this sent to me by a friend, so thank you, Prue, for sending this my way. I tried this on camera, I absolutely hated it, I thought it was awful, and I don't want it in my collection, so I'll be decluttering it. This right here is a quad that I have from Lime Crime, and I ended up getting this at IMAS for free because I spent way too much money at Lime Crime, and I have used it once. If I can open it, I will try to show you. So this is what it looks like. It's really, really cute. It's really not like my color scheme per se, but you know, I don't really have anything else from Lime Crime and I don't feel too bad about keeping this. I also think it's just really cute even though it's kind of bulky, but I did think the quality of this was okay and I don't really have anything against it except that I don't think I'll really use it that much, but I'm gonna keep it for another round because I do like to have a big collection and I do like to, especially with eyeshadow palettes, I do like to kind of collect eyeshadow palettes, so I am going to hang on to this. And I don't want to get rid of anything just for the sake of decluttering and for the sake of getting rid of stuff. Like if it's something that I like, I'm probably going to keep it. So this is one of my newest palettes to my collection. This is the Menagerie Cosmetics Courtship Palette. I think this is awesome. I am currently working on a 3 looks one palette with this and I think this is so cute. I love these shadows, especially this one right here is probably the favorite shadow that I've tried this year. I just think this is so beautiful. Like, oh, just look at that. Oh, it's everything. So I will for sure be keeping this palette. I think this is amazing. So I have a feeling that you're all sitting there being like, oh my god, you gotta swatch more stuff. So maybe I will start swatching some more stuff. If I see any like particular shades that I really like, I will start swatching some because I feel like I'm going through this at a pretty decent pace. So, you know, I'm sure you all wanna watch a eyeshadow palette decloder for a while. So this is my Meat Matchmaker by The Bomb, I think this is by, yeah, it's by The Bomb. I got this in a BoxyCharm. This is not something that is for me at all. I never use these kind of colors and unless you're new to my channel, you know this. So I will for sure be giving this to someone else because I will never use this. This is just not really my kind of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this. This is the Aftershock palette by Bad Habit. I actually got sent this by a subscriber, so I haven't even used it yet, but it's beautiful and I really wanna dig into this, so I'm gonna hang on to this. And if you want a video with this, let me know and I can absolutely do that for you because I want to play with this. Next up, I have two of the Mini Huda palettes. I will definitely be keeping both. I love these. There's one shade in particular in this palette. This one right here is just absolutely stunning as well as this one. Like, I just love these. They are so metallic and so sparkly. Oh, just look at the shift in this one. It's just so gorgeous. 
So I will for sure be getting both of these. This is the Mob Obsessions palette. I like this a lot. It's not really something I reach for a lot, but it's, I, it's still something that I like to have in my collection for the times when I do want something like this. Okay, lastly for my very small palettes, I have the Just My Luck palette by ColourPop as well as the Ooh La La palette, and I will be keeping both of these. I think these are beautiful. This is the green one. This is the one that came out with for St. Patrick's Day, and I will say that the shadow right here is just so unique, and I don't think I have anything like this. It's like a lime green shimmer, and it's just, it's super pretty and sparkling and reflective. And I also have the Ooh La La palette, like I said. I really like this one as well, but I've only used it once and it was for a video. So I definitely want to get more use out of this. I feel like I need to find a way to use this along with a different palette. And I actually might use this today because I'm going to hockey game later and I kind of want to do something purple. So maybe I will pull this out and see if I can get some more use out of this. I think both of these are amazing. And I'm excited for ColourPop to keep coming out with more of these. I hope they come out with an orange palette or a red palette. That would be so cool. Even a yellow palette would be awesome. I feel like they're probably not going to come out with a blue palette because they already have the Mar palette that I made with a blue packaging. I don't know why they did that, but either way, I'm going to be keeping these because I absolutely love them. So there is no rhyme or reason with the order that I'm pulling out these palettes because they are pretty much just in a big pile. So this is the Subculture palette. You have all seen this. I love this palette. Um, I'll definitely be keeping it. There's nothing really else to say about this. This one is the Pretty Vulgar palette and it's called, what is this called? Nightingale. I probably am going to declutter this because I never use new tools, especially a whole palette full of new tools. And despite these being cool tones, which I do really enjoy, I just, I know I have other palettes that I have these shades in and I don't need this. And I think someone else might be getting a lot more use out of this than me because I like the quality of this. The one time I did try it, I didn't have any problems with it. So I'm gonna pass this on to someone else. This right here is my Creepy Cute palette by Strobe Cosmetics. I love this palette with my whole heart. I think this is beautiful. It's the best pastels that I've ever tried in my life. And this is not going anywhere. So let me see if I can show you some swatches here because these are just incredible. Incredible. Like, do you see how pigmented these are? Those were the most terrible swatches in the world, but these are just so pretty and they perform so well on the eyes too, so I am 100% going to keep this. And this is Strobe Cosmetics' other palette. It's called the Divinity Palette. This is also beautiful. That purple right there, if you can see that, is so stunning. So. Yeah, um, I like Strobe Cosmetics as a brand a lot and I can't wait for them to come out with more things because I will be the first one to buy it because I love their quality. Next up we have the Violet Boss Rainbow Palette. I love this. This is an all shimmer palette, however, so it's not something that I reach for a lot, but I find the quality of these shadows to be beautiful. They foil so nicely and I just think that these are amazing. So yes, I will be keeping this. Something else that I will be keeping is the Viseart Dark Mattes palette. I have used this, I think, once. So yeah, I feel kind of guilty about that and I probably should be getting more use out of this, but I just never find myself reaching for it, which is kind of unfortunate, but I think the quality of this is amazing. And yeah, I mean, I have it in my collection. I'm definitely not going to declutter it. So this will be staying. Next up, I have two palettes from the Jaclyn Hill Vault collection. I have the Armed and Gorgeous palette, and I also have the, wow, Dark Magic palette. I'm trying to show you both at the same time here. So I'm sure you probably see them already, but this is what they look like. And I will say that there was some controversy about the formulas in this, and I'm pretty sure that I got one bad and one good because I did buy them in two different stores. So my Armed and Gorgeous palette, this one, the formula on this is so much different than the Dark Magic palette, and I find this to perform beautifully, but I was having a really hard time with the Armed and Gorgeous palette, so I don't know if I wanna keep this, but I love this color story. I think some of these shadows are so beautiful, and I don't know. I feel like I'm just not done with these yet. I'm definitely keeping my Dark Magic palette. I really like this a lot, so. I'm for sure going to keep this. I am a little bit torn on the Armed and Gorgeous, however, so I don't know what I want to do with this. I think I'm gonna hold on to it for another round and see if maybe I get some more use out of this. Maybe I need to just try it again and make up my mind because it's been a long time since I tried this and I feel like my eyeshadow application has changed quite a bit since then. So maybe I should give this another chance. Do you want a video with this by any chance? I can do a video trying this again and seeing how I feel about it now. If you want, let me know. So I'm gonna hang on to this. 
and I'll be completely honest with you and I don't think I'll be getting rid of a lot more palettes so from here on out it's probably going to be more of an eyeshadow palette collection than a declutter but you know we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. This is my Natasha Denona Sunset palette. This is not really, I kind of regret buying this to be honest because when I bought this I wasn't really sure what my makeup aesthetic was and I've realized that I'm just not really into neutral, so this is not a palette that I reach for a lot, but I do think the quality of this is great and I do like her shadow formula. So, well, at least in this palette, she does have some other formulas that are just a bit weird that I don't like, but I am going to hang on to this because I think it is a beautiful palette and I think using it with other things, it works really well. So yeah, I'm gonna for sure hang on to this even though I don't expect to get a lot of use out of it. This is another palette from an indie brand that a lot of you have probably not heard of, but this is from OMFG Cosmetics and this is their Fall Vibes palette. I did a video with this as well as the 3 Looks 1 palette and what I want to say is I think the mattes are amazing. The shimmers are a little bit lackluster, they're just not really that foiled or impactful. So I'm not like super impressed by these, but I do think that especially the layout of this palette given that it's half shimmers, half mattes and that they have corresponding colors, I think that is awesome and I wish more brands did that. So for that reason alone, I'm going to keep this and I also want to support the brand because I think that they come up with some cool stuff and I really want to see what they can do in the future. So I'm going to hang on to this. I think it's a really cute palette too. I don't know if you can see the little OMFG heart on the front of the cover here, but that's just so cute. This palette is from an Australian brand that is called Chi Chi and this is one of their bright palettes and I have only used this once and I really liked it so I definitely want to keep this in my collection. It's also probably one of the few Australian makeup items that I have that I know I can't get in the States so yeah I like this palette a lot and I definitely want to pull this out at some point and play more with it because I think this is beautiful. Alright so we are finally at one that I'm going to be decluttering. This is by Crown and I think I got this in a BoxyCharm and it came broken so basically the shadow is nowhere to be found anymore because I had to dump it in a trash because it was all loose and I don't like this color scheme at all and this is probably going in the trash to be honest because I didn't even really like the quality of these shadows I just this is not my thing. This one I am extremely torn on I've only used this once this is from an indie brand called Be Elegant and this is what the palette looks like. This was their Halloween edition, I think. It's like a limited edition palette. I don't think this even exists anymore. It also has a pressed glitter in it, which I don't really use. And ugh, I really don't know why I bought this palette. I think I just wanted to try out the brand more, even though I had tried one thing from the brand that I didn't like. So why did I buy this? I have no idea. But some of these shadows are just so weird, especially the shimmer formula. Like they all seem to have like a black base and then like some glitters in it and I'm just very confused by these. They're very strange shadows and not really something that I ever reach for so I'm gonna get rid of this. I just I never see myself using this again. Next up we have both of the festival palettes by BH Cosmetics and I will be keeping both of these. I think they are amazing. I've done videos with this one I did a 3 Lux 1 palette as well as a review and I've also used this in a couple of videos. I don't think I've done a video using only this palette but I think these are really good quality and I like BH as a brand so I will be keeping these. I am also going to keep my one and only Pat McGrath palette. This is the All Shimmer palette so I think this is called the... What is this even called? Does this have a name? I think it's just a Mothership Decadence palette. Yeah, I can't even see a name on this. I think it's just called the Decadence Palette. But anyway, this is what it looks like. These are absolutely stunning, beautiful shadows. And there is no way that I would ever get rid of this ever unless it goes old and there's a mold on it. Then I might depot it and keep the packaging because this is just, oh, it's so stunning. I love the weight of this. I love how luxurious it feels. And I don't mind that I spend a lot of money on this even if I don't really use it because I kind of see this as a collector's item and I think it's just beautiful. Okay, so here's a palette that I think I am going to declutter. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. I've used this a few times, but this shadow right here is broken and that really annoys me. And it honestly keeps me from using this palette, which is stupid. But I also just don't really ever reach for it because I, the pan sizes annoy me too, let's be honest. They're just so small and it was one of the first rainbow palettes that I bought so I just have so many better things in my collection right now. I don't think the formula on this is that good 
and it just takes a long time to build up the shadows to be super pigmented. So I don't see myself ever reaching for this again, so I am going to declutter this. I'm also going to be decluttering this one. I don't know if you can actually see the outside of this packaging because of the lighting, but this is the Francesca Tollett collab with Ofra. I ended up getting this at IMATS and I didn't swatch this before I bought it, which was a huge mistake because I did not realize that most of these are shimmers. You would think that a lot of these shadows are mattes, but the only mattes in here is the pink, the orange, blue, and the black. All of the other ones are either satins or they are shimmers and I'm not a fan of satins at all. So given that half of this palette is just satin shades, I didn't even think they performed very well. So I have no problem getting rid of this. I do think that the packaging is really nice and sturdy and I think it's cute the way they designed this, but the shadows inside of this, I thought they were really bad. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find someone else who might want this instead, or at least try it because I will never use this. So we are down to the last basket. So let's get into this one now. So first off, I have the Alamar Cosmetics palette. This one we got in BoxyCharm, and I think the quality of these shadows are fantastic. This is not going anywhere, even though I never reach for this because it is on the neutral side, and I don't really like having a warm crease when I pop a blue on the lid. So, you know, <laughs> it's kind of annoying the way it's set up because you don't really have much of a choice. But like I said, the quality of this is amazing, and I'm gonna see if I can maybe use this in a palette bingo or something along with another palette because I think that could be kind of fun, or at least find a reason to pull this out because I do think this is an amazing palette. This is the Destiny palette by Certify. I love this palette. I think this is beautiful. I think the color story is very fall. I think the quality of most of these shadows are pretty good. I will say that some of them are not the best, especially the blue and the purple down here. They're not great, but a lot of these warm tones up here are just absolutely beautiful. And I think these two greens are really good too. So I'm going to hang on to this. And I also did buy the new Affinity 2 palette. So hopefully that'll be coming in not too long. That is the green and blue one. I'll pop a picture up the screen for you if you want to see what that one looks like but I'm really excited about that one so yeah I'm gonna keep this another one that I'm gonna keep is the Riviera palette by ABH I'm sure you have all seen this I did a 10 looks one palette with this I will link that in the corner if you are interested in checking it out but I liked it I don't love it I think the formula is okay it's a little bit hard to work with I think the color story is a little bit not that well thought out I know that's not the best sentence ever but English you know but I, I like this palette so I'm gonna hang on to it and it's also the only ABH palette that I have except for these subcultures so this will be staying in my collection this is one of my newer palettes this is the Sugar Crystals palette by Violet Voss I think this is beautiful I love the layout of this I love that there are three different formulas in this I think the mattes are pretty good they're not the best mattes that I've ever tried this purple here is a bit sheer but all of the other ones performed really nicely I like this bottom row of colors here I've used a lot of these on my face as face highlighters and they work beautifully for that so this is what they look like they are absolutely stunning I think these are so cool and it's such a cool formula too so I'm really excited I'm happy I bought this palette and I don't know if they have brought this back out yet but I think it will be in stock on Sephora again soon so hopefully when this video comes out this palette will be able to be purchased because I would highly recommend it and like I said I will link some videos down below if you want to check out the videos that I did on this palette if you are curious so yeah I'm definitely going to hang on to this and I don't see myself really Really ever decluttering that palette because I like it so much. This is the Bad Habit Aphrodite palette. I got this sent to me by a lovely subscriber. I've used this once. It's not really my kind of color story, but I made one video with it, so I'm pretty happy and I feel like I've had enough of this palette. <laughs> so I'm gonna hand this off to someone else who might get more use out of it, but I'm happy I tried it. I thought the quality was decent. It's just not the kind of color story that I personally reach for. So we're gonna be having a lot of Juvie's Place palettes in this pile because that's mostly what's left in my basket. I do have some other brands as well, but if you are new here, Juvie's Place is my favorite brand. I love their eyeshadow formula so much. I love their color story so much. I think Juvie's Place as a brand is just fantastic. I love their shimmer formula so much. I am such a sucker for a really nice foiled 
glittery, sparkly, intense eyeshadow, and that is exactly what I get in my Juvia's Place palettes. This is the, no wait, this is the Nubian 2 palette. It's not my favorite out of my Juvia's Place palettes, it's honestly probably in the bottom of them. If you want to see a video ranking all of my Juvia's Place palettes, let me know. I've seen other people do that and it looks kind of fun, and just thinking about it, I'm already a bit overwhelmed because I know it's going to be really hard, but it could be a fun video, so let me know if you want to see that, but I am for sure going to be keeping this as well as all of my other Juvia's Place palette, but I will still show them to you so you can see what they look like if you haven't somehow already seen all of them. This is the Chasing Rainbows palette by Colourpop. I think this is such a cute, fun palette. I love the packaging, I love the whole holographic idea that I have here, and I like the color story in this too. I had no problems working with this palette at all, and I thought that all of the shadows performed really nicely, so yeah, I'm for sure going to hang on to this. I honestly don't have a lot of Colourpop palettes, so this is one of the few that I do have along with the other mini ones that I showed you in the beginning or earlier in this video, so I'm gonna hang on to this. So these two palettes here are two of my favorite palettes in my collection. I think these are stunning. This one right here is the Dragon Child palette by former Makeup Monsters. They are now called Menagerie Cosmetics and the color story in this is just so beautiful. It's so unique. The pigmentation in these shadows is just incredible and I just love this so much and I'm so sad that they are discontinuing it but the owner did say that she is going to come out with all of the singles so you can buy them individually if there are any in this that you want eventually all of these will be available as singles which is great because I love this palette so much and this is a newer palette from them this is the feral palette and I just think the color story in here is so good so pretty oh, the packaging is just I mean look at that Look at that cohesiveness, like, I wish every brand can do this because this is all I want in an eyeshadow palette, honestly, and I think the formula from Menagerie is just, it's fantastic, I don't know what else to say, so I will 100% be keeping both of those. This is a palette that I'm sure most of you have seen before, this is the Zulu palette by Juvie's Place, I love this, I especially love the green in the middle here, this is one of my favorite Juvie's Place shadows of all time. I just think that this is so stunning. It's almost like it has a bit of a gold shift to it. Oh, it's just so pretty. So there's no way I will ever get rid of that palette, ever. And the same can be said for the Magic Mini by Juvie's Place as well. This is a small version. They also have a bigger one, but this is the smaller one. And I just love everything about this palette, honestly. I think the quality is fantastic. I love the color story. I love these shimmers so much. This green right here. Can you tell that I like green? But I just think that I don't have a green like this in any other palette. I think it's just perfect. Look at those. Oh, it's so pretty. Also by Juvia's Place, this is their Deuce palette. I don't love this as much as a lot of the other Juvia's Place palettes. I do think that all of the colors individually are really nice, but I don't love this as a color story. But I'm definitely going to keep it because like I said, I feel like I am a bit of a Juvia's Place collector even though I don't have all of their palettes. The only ones I don't have are the Warrior palettes as well as the first Nubian palette which are just too neutral for me. But I do think this is a super pretty soft romantic palette and I will be hanging on to this. This is one that I am quite torn on and this is the Blush Tribe Blossom palette. Here's what it looks like. It's got beautiful shadows in it but I found that a lot of the pastels in this palette just are not that great. Like, I am so sorry, but I've tried so many ways to make these work for me and I don't really get a lot of pigmentation out of them. But I will say that the blue down here as well as the green and also this red here, even the brown is really nice, the dark is nice, the white sucks. Um, this one doesn't show up on me at all, so I wanna say like half of this palette is pretty good. So I am torn on keeping this, I don't really know, but at the same time I'm like, I don't need to get rid of this. I don't feel like I should be getting rid of palettes that I kind of like just for the sake of making a better declutter video, if that makes sense. I feel like a lot of you who are watching this are just watching to, you know, look at people go through eyeshadow palettes, not necessarily expecting people to get rid of half of their collection. So I am going to keep this because I do think it has some pretty unique shades in it. So for that reason alone, I'm going to hang on to this. But if you were wondering, I probably wouldn't recommend you buy this because I personally don't think this is the best palette ever, so take that for what you want, but I don't think this is worth the money. This is actually the newest palette to my collection, and this is the High Times palette by Midas Cosmetics. 
I think this color story is so fun. Like, yes, it's a weed theme based palette and I don't smoke weed, but do I care? No, because I think this palette is beautiful and I'm excited to play more with this. I really enjoyed the one look that I've done with this and like I said, I can't wait to film more because I do want to do a 3 looks one palette with this because you guys seem to really want more videos with this palette. So I will absolutely do that and I don't know when that video will be coming up, but at some point I will have that up and I hope you are excited because I am excited to film more with this. This one right here is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. This is the Hasina 2 by Blush Tribe. I think this color story is fantastic. I like the art inside of it as well. And a lot of these shadows, just actually all of these shadows perform really nicely. I like the shimmer formula a lot. I like the matte formula. I like the colors that they put in here. I think it's just beautiful. So I don't have anything bad to say about this palette. So it goes to show that Blush Tribe has come a long way. I think the Blossom palette was their first palette and this is one of their later palettes and so I definitely feel like they have improved a lot on the formula so I love this palette. I am 100% keeping it. I am also going to keep my Block Party palette by Studio Beauty. This is so pretty. I love this color story. I need to play with this more. I've only used this twice and that is not enough. This palette deserves more love. Every time I put this in a poll of my next 3 looks one palette video, you guys never vote for this, so that makes me so sad. Please vote. Next time I put this in a poll, please vote for this palette, or maybe I should just not put up a poll and use this palette because I want to use it, so maybe that's what I'll do, but I am going to get around to using this, I promise, and I know a lot of you want me to use this, I want to use this, so we're gonna use this. This right here is the Freak Palette by Juvie's Place. I love this color story so much. I will say that this palette does have a couple of duds that aren't as good as some other Juvie's Place shadows. Especially this blue here is not the best. Uh, the yellow is so-so. The other shadows in this palette are beautiful and yeah, I like this. I like the artwork on this a lot. This is one of my probably favorite artworks on the Juvie's Place palettes. I just think that this is so cool and I like the outside of it. I like the orange color story scheme that's going on here. And just like the woman on the front here, I just think this is so cute and so pretty. So yeah, there's no way I'm going to get rid of any of my Juvie's Place palettes. I know I've probably said that four times already, but I will keep saying it because I'm not going to get rid of any of them. And so that also goes for my Saharan 2 palette. I think this is such a cute palette. I love this. I do really wish they had a couple of more mattes in here. I don't like that two thirds of this palette are shimmers and only three of them are mattes. Uh, if I could change something, that's definitely one thing that I would change. I would probably take out one of these two shadows and swap it out with a matte of some sort. I don't know which one. I haven't really thought about that, but I still think it's a beautiful palette. It performs really nice. It's the same quality as all of the other good Juvia's Place palettes, so this will be in my collection for a long time. This one right here almost looks like it would be a Juvia's Place palette, but this is also by Blush Tribe, and this is the Polina collab that she did with Blush Tribe, and this is what the palette looks like. I think this is stunning. I just, this color story is so Polina. If you don't know who Polina is, I will link her channel up in the cards. You guys are going to love her. This is her on the cover, by the way. So I really like how they did that. And that's also her on the cover on the front. And I did see that Blush Tribe today I actually put up a poll on their Instagram asking if people wanted to see this restocked. So this might be coming back in stock. I hope so, because this palette is incredible. And if you get a chance to pick this up, I would highly, highly, highly recommend this because this is amazing. Not only color story wise, but also the quality of these shades are so good. This is the Festival palette by Juvie's Place. I love this color story. I think this is so underrated. It's like, yeah, it might not look that cohesive when you look at it, but I feel like you could get a lot of really fun and cool looks out of this. And I also really like the shade right here. I know it just looks like a boring white, but I just think this is so cool. It's so pretty. And this one right here is also really pretty. I am just such a sucker for Juvia's Place Shimmer Formula, I can't help it. And I also actually really like this one, so let's watch this. The only thing that I want to say about this shadow is if you want to use it, put down some glitter glue because otherwise you're going to have black flakes of glitter all over your face and they're not the kind of glitter so you can just wipe away. So keep that in mind if you want to try that all over your lid, but it is beautiful. And again, the artwork is just amazing. So 100% keeping this. I know I say I'm 100% keeping all of my Juvia's Place palettes and I'm so sorry I keep repeating myself, but like, I'm sorry, not sorry. But this is the Saharan palette by Juvia's. 
this has not gotten enough love for me. I think this is so beautiful and I really want to use this more. I just wish that the mattes in this palette were a little bit different. I don't necessarily feel like the mattes go with the rest of the shimmers in this palette, but you know what? I feel like I need to challenge myself and I feel like I need to do more with this palette just to prove to myself that I can make this work because I really think that I can make really nice looks with this palette. So guess what? I'm gonna keep it. Okay, so we are nearing the end here. I actually have another tiny palette here that I forgot in the first bunch of palettes, but this is the ColourPop Make Up Your Mind palette. This palette is fantastic. The quality of this is so good. This silver right here is incredible as well as the gold. And I don't think I've ever used this purple, but just in general, like, look at that. That is so pretty. Like this silver is just, oh my God. I don't know how ColourPop does it, honestly, but this is just such a little companion palette that you can bring traveling with you. If you need a gold and a silver with you in your collection, just bring this little palette and it takes up no room at all. And it's nice and compact and yeah, I love this. This is my Tri Palette by Juvia's Place. I love this and guess what? I will be keeping it because I think it is stunning. I think they did such a good job with this color story. I think everything kind of goes nicely together. And these shimmers, have I told you yet that I like Juvia's Place shimmers? Because if I haven't, I love Juvia's Place shimmers because just look at that. They're just so foiled and metallic and yummy. I can't, I don't even know what else to say about them. I just think they are fantastic. Lastly for my Juvia's Place palettes, this is the Masquerade palette. This is also the mini version. This does come in a full-size version as well, but I feel like there is no need to ever get a full-size Juvia's Place palette if you can get the mini ones because the other ones are so big. But these shadows are so nice. Let me swatch some of them. I need to wipe off my hand first. But yeah, how about we swatch some more of these shimmers because I like Juvia's Place Shimmer Formula. Did I already say that? I am so sorry. I'm going to just keep repeating myself because I love Juvia's Place Shimmer Formula. Oh my God, that blue. Oh, just look at that. Look at that blue. Look at that. Have you seen anything more beautiful in your whole life? Because I don't think I have. This is just so stunning. Okay, lastly, let's talk about my Pinky Rose Cosmetics palettes. These all came in a bundle and I bought all three because I loved all of them so much. This is the Exotic Peacock palette. This is what it looks like. I think this color story is so unique and so different than anything else I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen a brand put these kind of colors together. And I think the formula on these are really nice too. I love the matte formula. Some of the shimmers are not as intense as I would like, but then again, I compare everything to Juvia's Place because I love their shimmers. I know I said that, but I'm going to keep saying it because I think they have the best shimmer formula on the market. And so yeah, I like this a lot. I think the color story is great. This is the 80s Baby palette. So again, super unique color story, not something that I've really ever seen before. And again, I think the quality of these shadows are really, really nice. And the same goes for the Obsessed palette. This is what this one looks like. So yeah, those were all of my eyeshadow palettes. Now, should I count all of these and see how many I kept and how many I got rid of? Let's do that because I am curious to see how many shadows I have or how many palettes I have in my collection because I honestly don't even know. Okay, so it looks like I kept 55 palettes, which honestly I don't really think is that many at all. And I'm shocked that I don't have more than I do. I honestly thought I would get up to like 100 palettes, but maybe I don't. So I guess I'm going to say I kept 55. So for the ones that I ended up decluttering, I decluttered 13. So honestly, that is more than I thought I would declutter. So 
I'm pretty happy with how this went. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my collection and my declutter. Let me know what you think of the ones that I did declutter. I feel like some people would really like some of the ones that I did declutter and if you did I am so sorry but we all have different makeup opinions and that is the beauty of makeup. So if you are new to my channel I would love it if you would consider checking out some of my other videos and maybe if you do you would like to join the family by subscribing but that is totally up to you. Either way thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye!